today with some stuff for Vince to smell. It's his favorite type of video. This is bath products and it's from a company that I found on Etsy called uh, Mountain Madness Soap. They are located in Idaho and they, I mean, I don't even remember how I found them. I was just kind of like going through stuff because I was looking for yeah. things to buy with my uh, gift card that I got from Etsy for my birthday from some friends of mine. And I was kind of like, I really just want to try more bath products. So I thought, why not? So I found this company and they use a lot of locally grown herbs, fruits and vegetables, organic products. They use cocoa butter and shea butter and all these things that they get from local growers and local producers of these products. And what's really cool is their packaging is rice based and it's compostable. So that means everything is like recycled or it can be, um, what is the word, like composted so that you can use it and it's not bad for the environment, yeah, which is toxic. pretty cool. Um, I really like some of the scents they had and when I wrote to them and told them, hey, I'm placing this order, uh, can I get some samples of some of your other products so we can review them as well? They were nice enough to send me uh, some other soaps of some other flavors that I'm actually really excited about. So I'm, I'm really, really excited to bring this I'm pretty to you. pumped up and I mm -hmm. always, well, both of us, we like the uh, organic thing, mm -hmm. you know? it's not only good for the environment, it's good for yourself. It is, so, it is. You don't have all the toxic stuff inside your body, you know. And then so, believe it or not, you start to feel better. It takes yeah, months and months and months. You really so. do, you really do. All right, what are we going to start off with? We are going to start out with a bath bomb called the Funky Monkey. Now this kind of makes its way around like a couple of the shops. If you notice in the top there, there's an actual monkey. Check the, the monkey! monkey! <laughs> the monkey! So the Funky Monkey, it has coconut, mango, papaya, and pineapple. What does it smell like? Well, it's really faint through this. You don't understand. Oh, I can smell the coconut and pineapple actually. You don't understand. Like, this has been sitting, I got it last week, and I've been waiting to be able to do a video for it. And I, every time I take a bath, I'm like, I really want to use it, <laughs> but I can't. She wants the I funky had to save monkey. It for you. The funky monkey, like. There's pineapple, coconut. I love fruit smells. I love bakery smells. Those are my favorite ones. You so. Check it out. See if you can smell it. No. You, you can kind of smell the pineapple. With I think, coconut. yeah, I think you're right. It's the pineapple, it's very I think. Faint. I think it's the... I don't know if you can smell Let's it. Let's open the bag. She was smelling a... Uh, chocolate. Chocolatey. For another uh, video. For another video. Doing, which is what I'm smelling right now is chocolate, I think. Uh-oh. She opened the bags. Oh, you can smell it better in the bag. Oh. Here, okay. smell it that way. It's cool. Here, you can get, get some... There you go. Oh, oh. I can there see you monkey. go. You saw the monkey better. There the you monkey. go. He's so cute. So yeah. I wonder if he's going to pop out when you put it in the bath. I wonder well, that'd if that would be interesting. It'd be like a little, out. like a bob. There he is. There you go. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> I don't know about that. Funky Monkey. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, we have the other bath bomb. It is called the Sweet Meyer Lemon. Sweet Meyer Lemon. And actually, my husband picked this one out because he loves lemon. So it's basically lemon. I don't know how lemony it is. Is there something on the top there? Yeah, it's like a little flower. Oh, so let's it's open it's a it because that seems to be the thing, you know. To open and smell. And don't worry, I'm not simply going to be loosening the jar. I think I can manage. <laughs> All right, you just twist it. Crinkle, crinkle. You have to stir it. Let the juices. <laughs> Bath time wine. <laughs> <laughs> Be the connoisseur. connoisseur. It smells more flower. I mean, I guess there's lemon in that. Let's mm -hmm. See if you can smell it. I smell more of a flower, actually. I don't know if it's, you know, we were watching this uh, TV show it's on Food TV called The Hungry Game. Hungry Game. And it's really neat. You should check it out. It's a. Uh, we're not sponsored either, but it's about like colors and ways you order things. Plus, if you're a Top Chef fan, the host of the show is Richard Blaze from Top Chef, so that's amazing. Yeah, check it out. But the reason why I brought that up is I saw a flower on there, and I, I smell was... flower. I don't. I smell lemon. Yeah. So maybe for me, it could be doing a brain thing. It could be. Because I smell the lemon, but I smell flower. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the faintness of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe right, so. You could twisty tie I'll that. I'll twisty while you get the next one. All right. So now we're on to the bar soaps. And this one is called Sunrise. So the Sunrise one is made with yuzu or 
which is also Japanese grapefruit. So it's supposed to have that scent, orange and lemon. So I want to see, and I know this was one of the ones that I picked out because I'm gonna open it. yeah, we can open it up. I'll try to be nice and gentle. It actually opened pretty nice on the. Uh, it's not even a perforated edge. And if you guys are interested, obviously, in any of these products, you can go to mountainmadnesssoap.com or their Etsy shop, which I will be linking both of those below for you as well. Oh, All right, it. take it on sunrise. out. Show them what it looks like. It looks nice. It smells nice. It's for me to know, not you. All right, there we go. We can do the sunrise again. And actually, it'll look cool. <laughs> so you can see the, the like lemon in it and then like some of the raspberry and the grapefruit. I think of oh, egg wait. yolks for some reason. Orange and lemon and grapefruit. It smells really, really good. I it think does. it smells like it was the grapefruit. Mmm, mmm, and yeah. And the lemon. And the lemon. There's this really big portion of it lemon. It's really I good. I really like how big it is. I feel like you could use this, like break it off in hunks and use it for a really long time. That's pretty awesome. Or a snack or something. We're, no, eating the soap. No. I feel like that is a really, like not a bad price. It's six dollars for a hunk that big, and that's gonna last you for a little while. So I tried to fold it correctly, it's fine. but it's fine. We know Vince what doesn't fold things. He does not fold things. You should you should see my room. <laughs> that's another episode. Anyway. <laughs> this one is called raspberries and cream. So guess what it smells like? Raspberries and cream, and those raspberries are delicious. Smell that. Look at the top of it. Smell it. Look at that. That is awesome. Raspberry seeds on the top. It's fantastic. I like how it how it looks. I think that was one of the reasons why I was like, I really want this one because it smells amazing. Smell that. I want raspberries right now. Oh my gosh, this I know. is really it smells like fresh raspberry oh my gosh. I don't know if I would ever wash with these things. I think I would just like I'd have other soap if I was taking a bath and then just like sniff it. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. Like, I, I want like a I want a loaf of raspberry bread. <laughs> Can we do this? It does. It kind of looks like a uh, red velvet cake yeah, with red like velvet. a cream raspberry. cheese frosting. Oh. oh! Can you imagine raspberry French toast? Oh my gosh! Okay, now it's making us hungry. We have. Oh, you got on. moving on. Have to All right. on. Next, uh, that's gonna be like the new IHOP thing. Watch that happen. Okay, right. this one is oatmeal, milk, and honey. It uses local honey and local cream to make it. So I'm guessing it's gonna smell like oatmeal, milk, and honey. Check it. it but it's a, this is a sample, so it's a little bit smaller. It looks like we got an end piece. It looks like a brown oh, sugar. Look, thing. there's oatmeal you can on the see top. The oat. Oh, on the top. Look I don't even top. see it. Check it out. You saw it. It smells. It's not as addicting as the other two. I mean, it smells fresh. But also, it smells clean. Yeah, it smells yeah. clean. Almost like a linen with something else, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. for, so you know now, when you get that Febreze clean linen, you're getting oats. Oatmeal. I like this one. It's okay. I don't like it as much as the raspberry, but I like it. Oh, that raspberry. Oh my gosh. Mm. That was amazing. <laughs> here, I'll let you play with that. Oatmeal. All right, and here we have, happy birthday! This is vanilla and jojoba beans. Jojoba. 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 Do you know how to spell that? <laughs> Jojoba. Jojoba. How just, just uh, for the video editor on the screen. There you go. Put it right there. <laughs> All right. You can see the little sprinkles. I love sprinkles, by the way. It's purple. That's your favorite color. It is purple. All right. You get to hold it because your favorite color. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know that it. It smells like birthday cake totally. It didn't. Oh, the frosting I can smell. It Isn't smelled it like chocolate? something else. Is that chocolate or licorice or something? It's interesting. I can smell the vanilla. I, it might be the jojoba. That's probably what I'm smelling. I, I don't even know what jojoba is. That's the thing. It's like like a creamy like shea and cocoa. It makes it moisturizing. Jojoba. J-O-J-O-B-A. Jojoba, which I used to think was jojoba. The more you know. All right, so we have the packaging right here. Okay. And then, last but not least, in the mountain madness is Spud Soap. Okay, this is what probably like the most interesting soap that they have. It comes in a burlap sack when you buy an actual hunk of it. And it is made with, are you ready for this? Actual potatoes and huckleberry. It kind of looks and like And then it. potato water. So it is literally potato soap, which I think is kind of cool and I've never heard of anything it, like that. Maybe because you said it, but you can almost imagine if you cut a potato in half, you see the little swirls in the mm -hmm. center. 
Does it smell like potatoes? Which is like one of your favorite foods. It smells like sugar. Really? Well, that makes sense because doesn't potato break down as a simple sugar into your bloodstream? Oh my gosh, but what is they, this they've, they've had to add sugar. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's the huckleberry. The huckleberry is what you're smelling and oh, it smells really it's good. It's really good. This is, this is the stuff. This and the raspberry for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm, this is good. That's all we need, raspberry really and good. huckleberry. Oh my gosh. Potatoes. Uh, I wonder what happens if we have huckleberries on potatoes. We should try that. We should try that. But I'm sorry, it's purple. It is amazing. That's when. Thank you, Mountain Madness. That is, we have to get purple potatoes, so we got to do it when we feel like <laughs> it. We're gonna, we're gonna live the dream. It'll be oh, it'll be like pretentious Thanksgiving. Yeah. Purple let's mashed do it. potatoes with a huckleberry relish. Oh, let's do it. Let's <laughs> high five for relish. All right. Anyway, that is our review of the Mountain Madness Soap Company. I'm so so happy with the products. If you guys need some kind of like review about what they felt like after we used them, maybe I'll post that on Instagram or something like that so you want to make sure that you're following those on both of us because we tend to post on there yeah, quite awesome. a bit um, if you want to know any information of course about Mount Madness that'll be below as well as Vince's information for his social media and mine as well and yeah, comment that, below about what you want to see from us all right please, like if you guys know of any other companies that are like this that maybe we can check out that would be amazing because then we can kind of you know build relationships with them and like try out their stuff as well so let us know about that below and see you guys next time thank you for watching bye, bye. Looking forward to it.